Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Now, if you see that, uh, no way, I mean, cos x will intersect when this is uh, minus pi by 2 here is here. And pi by 2 is here. So in this region, uh, I should have used different color. Sorry. In this region, yeah. the white curve and the yellow curve only intersects at zero. Yeah, but uh, it still intersects, right? Yeah, it does. So, so that implies that there is this possibility that. Oh wait. We... Uh, no, 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 no. The thing is, it won't intersect here. It's just because of the way I am drawn this looks like that you just have to if you think if you think closely you'll find that this won't intersect correct correct i was just talking about the x equals zero area it will still yeah. intersect which means that between minus pi by two to pi by two at x equals zero uh that log expression will become zero yes yeah so yeah, then it is not strictly increasing. Yeah. And can you use graphs when you're uh, solving questions in the in C, in, for CMI entrance? Like, let's say we reach the situation like this. Can a graph be used to explain further? Or um, it's only for understanding right now in the class you can use the graphs in the exam it's a it's a great tool both for the person who will be checking your paper as well as you if you have made a if you have put a correct graph then the the person who is checking your paper will get to know that at least he made a silly mistake but his graph is right so he basically understands the problem if I remove from minus pi by two to pi by two, the point is zero. Uh, it's increasing, right? It's increasing because so, uh, so I mean, okay, let's let's not do this. Even it's increasing for some reasons, it's still increasing even if we don't remove this because it's just one point. So le let me show you why. So what does increasing mean? It means if I select a point x1, which is greater than x2, then f of x1 is greater than x2, right? Correct. But what's the definition of uh, 1, 1? If x1 is not equals to x2, then f of x1 should not be equal to f of x2. Yeah. But if it's not strictly increasing, then there's a possibility. Yeah. This implies this. OK. That means uh, strictly increasing is like a mandate for yeah. verifying that it is one to one. Yeah. But the converse is not true, though. One to, I mean, it's a homework try. One to one implies monotonicity, does it? You okay. know what's monotonic? The meaning of monotonic? Yes, uh, strictly increasing or decreasing. Yeah, monotonic means either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. Does it imply this? 
not necessarily right i can think uh, i mean i don't know i have to so what yeah. is one one uh, i mean uh, uh, okay it's a, it's a good question try to try to think the answer uh just look for whether this function is on to how do you look that i mean so a function as a uh, i forgot the name i mean it's called uh, uh i guess uh, that code domain must be equal to domain for to show that uh, this is on to right yeah uh, so why well, i mean what is on what is on to i mean it's something like uh Function for, uh, a function can be mapped. A function can be mapped to any two elements as well. It can also get mapped to one element, as long as the criteria is fulfilled. The criteria being that all the elements in the uh, in the range of the of, uh, in the image of A. All if all the elements in the image of A has uh, has been mapped, then it's an onto function, or we call it a subjective function. Image so is not the same as code domain, right? Or it is. Okay. So code domain is um, it's a bigger set. Okay. So the thing is, if range becomes so this is range okay the range of x so for every value of x you put the values of uh, f and you get these points you get this range set if by any chance the range becomes equals to sorry range becomes equals to code domain then it's surjective why because this is the range this is the code domain and the code domain has got intersected with the range. That means the code domain is nothing but the range. Has to be subjective. Because any function to its range is subjective. That's how range is defined. OK. Now, if you put code domain as equals to the range, then it, it, it is uh, subjective or on top. So in the question, it's given that f from a minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, and the co-domain is r. Yeah. Or, yeah. Now, if you can show that the range of f is r, then your work is done. Oh, OK. Uh, that is uh, like. Uh, Putting the value of uh, x in that function, my, uh, uh, minus pi by 2 and pi by 2, right? Yes. If you put any value of, if you put all the values of x between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2, and you can show that that particular set which you get, which you obtain, is equals to r, then this function is surjective. The range will be, I guess, uh, range is coming uh, minus infinity to infinity. That minimum value would be minus infinity and maximum would be infinity by putting the values f minus pi by 2 and f pi by 2. Yeah, so it's r, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so it will be, uh, it will be onto, right? It will be onto, yeah. So how will you show that? The thing is, uh, so, so it's just like, observation. It's it's just observation. So for x uh, tending to pi by two, f of x is uh, so cos pi by two is zero, right? right. And tan pi by two is uh, sorry, cos pi by two is zero. Sec pi by two will become infinity. But mm -hmm. 10 pi by 2 is uh, how much? 
that will also infinity. be infinity because you have infinity, infinity. yeah so it will be positive infinity correct yeah. uh, so, so log of positive infinity so basically what i mean to say is this will tend to infinity yeah okay yeah. but mind you this will tend to positive infinity right okay. minus is coming then uh, minus infinity uh -huh. no, no no i'm mm. not looking about the minus thing now what you can uh, do is sec x plus 10x uh it's just observation that this lies between zero and infinity why hmm? is it true for minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right obviously yes so it is um is that something we have to prove again like or uh you can simply think i mean it's a statement i have given it to you i know the proof you can think so this is true so just put a log here If you put a log, you'll find that this lies between uh, minus infinity and infinity. Correct. Because uh, the log looks something like this. So as long as we show this, we, we are good, right? Yeah. Then again, if you cube it, this infinity will same. stay in, it's the same. So basically what you, sh what you showed is the range of f of x is r which is the core domain correct hence uh, hence uh, f is uh, one top okay yeah makes sense